the forum is yours now. Uh, thank you for inviting me to attend this uh, big international conference. Uh, it's my honor. And I, today I would like to share my recent study about image and learning. And I will provide my suggestion to enhance learning through visual images. So here I would like to share my PowerPoint first. So today, uh, first of all, I would like to uh, share with you that usually the in learning context, there are multi-model literacy and the major one is language model, which is often the focus model in our traditional learning. So students usually listen to teachers lecture and they read, read written text. And that is the major model for the teacher and the learner as well. However, the minor model, which is a image model, usually to be identified as decoration only. However, in fact, the function of visual images are very important for learners. So the first one is visualized. We, Im visual images can visualize abstract concepts. For example, the water molecule, when we are going to teach science, there are lots of uh, abstract concepts concept which can be visualized by visual image, and students will have a brief idea what does that look. And the second function is to facilitate the integration of new knowledge with the prior knowledge. And the third, that can help students to organize their uh, understanding. And uh, I would like to briefly introduce the findings from my recent study. The first section will introduce textbook image analysis. And the second one will be a cross-culture comparison of textbook images, which will include Indonesia textbook as well. And the third one is also a cross-cultural comparison, but that will refer to students' generated images. Also, Indonesia students, college students will be included. And so here comes the first section of my recent study. Um, I focused on textbook image analysis in the beginning, in the uh, past few years. And uh, the most important finding is that different image design will bring different effects. For example, on the left hand side, it is a covert, uh, it's a kind of a design. Uh, you can see there are four kinds of fish in natural setting of a sea. And uh, in fact, that is related to the verbal text to tell students there are two major types of fishes in the sea. One is cartilaginous fish and the other is bony fish. So these four types of fish, they uh, actually can be divided into two groups. So uh, I conduct a study, try to invite students to have online reading comprehension test and the result is significant. For the student who read the left-hand side, which is called covert taxonomy, because there is no explicit visual cue to tell students they are going to be uh, classified into two groups. However, the right-hand side, we call it overt taxonomy, which try to use tree structures as very explicit visual cue to tell students and suggest them stingray and shark, they belong to the category of cartilaginous fish, while the seahorse and the clownfish belong to bony fish. So the student who read the right-hand side, which is over taxonomy, significant have better score than the student who read covert taxonomy. So the effect is so significant. So I would like to brief, briefly introduce what is the explicit visual cue. Uh, there, it, it is also called the conceptualization cue. And uh, they 
usually、um, presented by particular features or element in images, like the tree structure that I have introduced, or we can use table, box, or arrow. To point out the spatial feature or important informations that students need to know, so the function of visual cue, it can influence readers' perception, and they can draw attention to specific information, and they can help learners to organize concepts as well, and the last to help better recall. Okay, so. Here I would move on to cross-cultural comparison of textbook images, and I try to compare the design of those different kind of、uh, overt and covert taxonomy in the chapter biology classification across three countries, which include Taiwan, Indonesia, and Australia. So I select. Three most popular textbook as my sample for Taiwan is called T A T B and T C. For Indonesia, it named as I A I B and I C. For Australia, oh okay, A X A Y and A、uh, Z. And from the table, you can find more than eighty percent of Taiwanese textbook images belong to covert taxonomy. While Indonesia and Australia, their percentage are much lower, less than Taiwan. And、uh, Indonesia and Australia, they use overt taxonomy design much more than Taiwanese textbook. So, what kind of information that you can re retrieve or you can get from this table? Okay, maybe we can back to. To check about the covert taxonomy and overt taxonomy, which kind of design, image design, can bring better learning effect? Yes, my previous study suggests that overt taxonomy will bring better reading and the learning effect. So I think Taiwanese need to improve、uh, their image design and.、Uh, Uh, in the Indonesia textbook, I found a very good one that is published in the year 2013, and、uh, I try to look at the image and analyze, and found many good image design, and which will bring a very good effect, learning effect. So the chapter that I focus is the third, talk about classification. And here we can find the page on page sixty-four. There is、uh, an image in the middle with tree structure and some、uh, circle that can help students to classify and develop their understanding about taxonomy. And here on page sixty-six is another one with box and tree structure. And this is another one on page six, seven, and this one is table form, which helps students to bring out some necessary information to clarify their understanding. Okay, so I think this textbook is well designed, and uh, uh, they bring about、uh, lots of activity for students to. Uh, to practice how to classify living things, that is、uh, very very promising, and、uh, that worth us to consider and、uh, to adopt for the future revision of Taiwanese textbook. So, because the time is limited, so we'll come to the third section about the, my recent study, which is cross cultural comparison of student generated images. The prior、uh, understanding is、um, focus on textbook images only, and the third one, the recent one, I would like to、um, understand how students generate their images about taxonomy, and is that related to their learning culture? So the finding here, because I、uh, recruit. 
61 Indonesian college students from NDHU and uh, Taiwanese college students 60. So the number is almost equal. And uh, they are asked to draw a diagram or a picture to represent five kingdoms. And the Indonesia students, the result, okay, very interesting. Indonesia students tend to use more tree structure in representing the idea. However, Taiwanese students, like textbook have revealed, tend to use very similar design of covert taxonomy. And here, I would like to share with you. Can you tell um, which country is this uh, student from? Because it is written in Indonesia Bahasa, right? So yes, this is an Indonesia uh, university student from NDHU. Uh, the diagram, he used um, tree structure. And can you guess the students from which country? Because it is nature setting, no ex any explicit visual cue, no any tree structure. Yeah, it's Victoria. So yeah, it, it is from Taiwanese students. And uh, there are some other points that worries us to think more about. There are many Taiwanese participants. They drew the diagram according to their report from textbook. So actually they didn't design their own diagram. They just copied. And Taiwanese students have very little confidence in drawing a picture diagram to represent. So here comes the question, do we need to develop visual literacy of students' uh, understanding? Yes, I think the answer is confirmed and positive. So I would like to suggest that we need to enhance competence of visual literacy in classroom. So for, te for teacher and learner, we need to increase and provide some opportunity for learners to explain the meaning of images. And uh, we should encourage students to invent or design images to represent their learning results. And the third, we can help them to critique and compare the adequacy or suitability of visual images, even it is appeared in textbook. And the last but not least, we should help students to understand the purpose of the images and facilitate their learning. And that is uh, recommendation resulted from my recent studies. And uh, thank you for uh, your attention. And this is uh, the gate of my university. Uh, we, we are welcome Indonesia students to apply for our master degree education. So this is the end of my lecture today. Welcome any question. Thank you very much.